Hello, welcome to a demo on improved image management workflow in the Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller. This is Karishma Gupta, Technical Marketing Engineer, Cisco. NDFC 12 offers a revised image management workflow that can be leveraged for NXOS switch image upgrade, downgrade, RPM patches, as well as EPLD upgrades. We can now use image management policies for bootstrap process as well as image enforcement for NDFC fabrics. NDFC 12 offers new enhancements compared to DCNM 11, along with continued support of existing programmable reports. Some of the many enhancements Im include uh, simplified image management policies, which involve single and unified policy management for ISSU and Pope operations. Image staging and ISSU operations are now independent. This provides more simplified solution for mass upgrades and downgrades. With the distributed tasks, operator can pinpoint the issues easily instead of waiting for the whole wizard to complete. We now also have live installation logs to monitor each operation along with image policy compliance. So let's look at it. What are the different steps when we like to either upgrade or downgrade a switch? The first step is to go into image management in the operations tab. So we're able to go into operations, click on image management, click on images and thereafter upload a file or use import from SCP in order to put your NXOS switch into NDFC. So that is the very first step. Thereafter, we go ahead and create a policy by clicking on actions and create. What is the policy? Policy really, of course, includes a policy name, the platform that it will be used on. In this example, it's N9K and 3K. The release, which is basically going to give you a drop down of all the images that you have uploaded into the repository. We select the package name, EPLD, RPM and smooth details. So that is what the policy consists of. Thereafter, we can click on overview and go into the switches part of NDFC fabric. You can select the fabric scope by filtering the fabric attribute. We can now select one or many switches and attach the policy that we've just created using the actions change policy option. Again, all the policies that exist in the repository would show in the drop down. The next step is to stage the image, which is basically where the image will be copied into the switch. This can be done by going into the action and stage image operation. Once the staging is complete, we can view the status. It will either be green or red and also look at real time logs, which can be viewed in the reason section. We now can validate the image for upgrade and downgrade by clicking on actions and validate. Validation step is important and it is recommended for any upgrade or downgrade to find out any issues that may evolve while we are upgrading a switch, for example. However, for force non-disruptive option, this step is mandatory. Before we start the upgrade or downgrade, we can also trigger a pre-ISSU report generation by clicking on actions and again run report. Now we can go ahead and click on actions and upgrade and continue with the upgrade or downgrade operation. While this is going on, we have real time progress that can be viewed and we will let you know on exactly what is going on, whether you're upgrading or downgrading and what step the switch is currently on. Once the upgrade is complete, the switch will go into an in sync state, which means that now it's in sync, it's based on the policy you've defined, it's in sync with the rules you have, and it is now running the image that you'd wanted it to run. So the current and expected image versions would match and that's when it would go in sync. This is how the window actually looks. As we can see, we have full details of each of the switches. It has a policy associated. The status would go in sync once the upgrade is complete. We have the reason tab where we can look at the complete uh, installation log. Uh, we have image staging, validation and upgrade which are now separate processes and more details on the switch itself. So that was the image management policy in NDFC. That was it for this demo. Thank you for watching.